Wow, well I've just checked the latest um, forecast from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and it's um, it's showing Songdar has exploded into a, a, a what they call a, a super typhoon. These are the, the strongest types of typhoons you get in this region. Luckily it looks like it's gonna miss the Philippines, that's really good news for them, but unfortunately there are still some islands which are potentially in its path. Um, and those are the Ryukyu Islands, which are the southernmost islands of, of Japan. So, um, you know, the track's looking like it's gonna head towards the Ryukyu Islands. I've uh, packed my bag, and I'm more or less ready to set off tomorrow to the airport, buy an airline ticket, and just jump on a plane. So it's all very last minute. It's a lot of kind of my work is like that. Well, I've just checked the latest updates, and it looks like Okinawa is um, prime for in the firing line. So I'm off to the airport. I don't have a ticket or anything, so I've just got to kind of hope there's seats on the plane. Yeah, last I checked, there were. So uh, got the bags packed, uh, more or less all kit ready, and um, you know, fingers crossed, I can get there in one piece. Well, I just met up with my mate Mark, who's decided to join me on this trip to try and. Um, get in the path of uh, Typhoon Songda. We're just at the um, airline counter. Let's see if we can get on a flight down to the southern island of Miyako, because uh, it looks like that's where the, the Typhoon is going to track and that's where the, the worst conditions will be. Well, we actually made it to um, Miyako Island, and um, you wouldn't really think there's a typhoon uh, approaching. There's a load of school kids here. I don't know whether they're on a field trip or something. Um, the plane was full. Uh, you know, it's kind of business as usual, and this is often the case in this part of the world. Uh, they don't make a huge fuss about the, the storm until it's actually on them. We're having a bit of trouble finding a rental car because it's the weekend. A lot of them are booked up. But this uh, very nice lady is um, making some calls for us because I don't speak any Japanese. Here is our wheels. Um, yeah, not exactly ideal, but all the rental cars were totally um, booked out. But luckily this really kind lady managed to hook us up with this. And it'll be better than nothing. Well kind of against all the odds we managed to make it to Miyako Jima. Um, it's been a long traveling day, so one of these is certainly required. But not too many, because we've got a full day tomorrow. Um, you know, one of the fun things about traveling in this part of the world is, you know, getting there is half of the uh, adventure. So I don't know what tomorrow has in store, but it could be a pretty wild day if things pan out as they're forecasting. Well, good morning, it's 6am. I'm uh, feeling pretty crappy, which is to be expected since I didn't get much sleep last night. Always the way before filming a big event, the old nerves get going and um, mind gets wandering, so didn't sleep very well. But um, I, yeah, just checking the, the latest on the typhoon, things are still looking on track for uh, the tiny little island we're on, Miyakojima, to get really raked by Typhoon Songda this afternoon. It's kind of 50-50 right now whether the Typhoon is going to pass close to the island um, during daylight or uh, night hours. Obviously daylight would be much better for me so I can actually film a lot of stuff. But um, let me just show you the uh, latest tracks which this is from the JMA and you can see you know here's the little island we're on just there so they're still expecting a hit and um, CWB that's the Taiwanese there's a the little island we're on they're still expecting a hit and the um, you know the latest satellite you can see it there there we are just up there you know it seems like it's still on track so um, I'm just gonna prep up my kit and then um, have, a, have a good breakfast and then I think the priority would be to head over to the south coast and try and um, try and shoot some good waves footage. Well, we just left our hotel. Um, as you can see, the weather's not too bad right now. It looks like um, Songda is going to pass pretty close to where we are on Miyako Island um, in the next 12 hours. So what we're doing, we just left the hotel and we're going to go and um, recce the south coast where we think there's going to be some really huge waves 
and some good filming opportunities and basically just spot some good places to ride out the worst of the storm. Watch out. Be aware. Those are road waves. The, we're on the extreme southeastern tip of Miyako Island. And behind me is the most incredible wave show I've ever seen. Now, Songda was a super typhoon, Cat 5, which means that these waves have had a lot of ocean to propagate to become real monsters. I've never seen anything like this before. And um, you know, even here, 30 feet up on a cliff, you do need to be careful in case there are rogue waves, which we have already seen. Uh, just, just a jaw-dropping spectacle. We scored a direct hit. Um, we just uh, went back to the hotel to see where the, the location of the, the eye of Typhoon Songda was. It appears it's kind of passing over the island right now. That's why we've noticed a slight lack of, uh, uh, a slight drop in the winds and a massive shift in wind direction, um, which is what happens when the eye passes over you. Uh, so we're just gonna go out and have a drive around and try and see what damage has been done. 
um, and then we've always got the second half of the storm to come so we could be in for some strong winds from uh, the opposite direction that have been flying for most of the day.